can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given this equation x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0, then the goal is to evaluate this expression x plus 1 over x raised to the power of 2 plus x squared plus 1 over x squared raised to the power of 2 plus x cubed plus 1 over x cubed raised to the power of 2 all the way down to x raised to the power of 27 plus 1 over x raised to the power of 27 raised to the power of 2. Now pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. So now, to answer this kind of question, what we're going to do is to get the only equation that is given, x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. And notice, we need to find the value of x plus 1 over x raised to the power of 2 plus x squared plus 1 over x squared raised to the power of 2 until x raised to the power of 27 plus 1 over x raised to the power of 27 raised to the power of 2. We have here 27 terms. And there's a lot of terms. And in this kind of question, maybe we found some patterns after solving some of its terms. So let's do that. But before that, in this equation, for sure, x here is not equal to 0. Because if you replace all x with 0, we have 1 is not equal to 0. So 0 is not part of the solution. So x is not equal to 0. So why is this important? Because what we're going to do is to divide all of this term by x. Since x is not equal to 0, this is legal. Now, x squared over x, this is just x. x over x, since x is not equal to 0, this is just 1. Now, subtract 1 on both sides. We have x plus 1 over x is equivalent to negative 1. So we found the value of this first term, x plus 1 over x. This is just negative 1. Right, now how about x squared plus 1 over x squared? So what we're going to do is to square this. Because negative 1 squared is 1. And if we expand x plus 1 over x raised to the power of 2, we have something like x squared plus 2 plus 1 over x squared. Now subtract 2 on both sides. We have x squared plus 1 over x squared is equivalent to 1 minus 2 or simply equivalent to negative 1. So x squared plus 1 over x squared is also negative 1. Now how about the value of x cubed plus 1 over x cubed? So what we're going to do is to multiply x squared plus 1 over x squared with x plus 1 over x. And if we do that, we get something like this. And negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. And if we multiply these two terms, we get something like x cubed plus x plus 1 over x plus 1 over x cubed. Now, we have a value for x plus 1 over x. This is just negative 1. Now add 1 on both sides to get the value of x cubed plus 1 over x cubed and this is just 2. Now we found x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. This is just 2. And now how about x raised to the power of 4 plus 1 over x raised to the power of 4. So we need this equation x squared plus 1 over x squared equals negative 1. Because if we square this, negative 1 squared is 1. And the left-hand side is just x raised to the fourth power plus 2 plus 1 over x raised to the fourth power. Now, subtract 2 on both sides. Sure enough, x raised to the fourth power plus 1 over x raised to the fourth power is simply equivalent to negative 1. And let's put this in the top of x plus 1 over x. Now, how about x raised to the fifth power plus 1 over x raised to the fifth power? So let's multiply x plus 1 over x and x raised to the fourth power plus 1 over x raised to the fourth power. And if we do that, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. And if we multiply the left hand side, this is just x raised to the fifth power plus x cubed plus 1 over x cubed plus 1 over x raised to the fifth power. And again, we have a value for x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. This is just 2. Subtract 2 on both sides, and we get that the value of x raised to the fifth power plus 1 over x raised to the fifth power simply equivalent to negative 1. And how about x raised to the power of 6 plus 1 over x raised to the power of 6? So we need this equation, x cubed plus 1 over x cubed equals 2. Now if we square this, we get something like this, and subtract 2 on both sides, we get 
x raised to the power of 6 plus 1 over x raised to the power of 6 is also 2. Now, we see some patterns. And if we do, if you get the value of x raised to the power of 7 plus 1 over x raised to the power of 7, using our solution, just multiply these two equations. And sure enough, you get negative 1. Now, x raised to the power of 8 plus 1 over x raised to the power of 8. If you square this equation, you get an answer of still negative 1. And x raised to the power of 9 plus 1 over x raised to the power of 9, you get something like 2. And you see now the pattern. And this continues until we reach x raised to the 25th power x raised to the 26th power, and x raised to the 27th power. Still negative 1, negative 1, and 2. Now, the goal here is to add all of those values. So how many couple of 3s do we have? So we have 27 divided by 3 or simply equivalent to 9. And we need to add negative 1 squared plus negative 1 squared plus 2 squared. So we need to multiply this by 9. Now, negative 1 squared is 1 plus 1 plus 4. This is just 1 plus 1 plus 4. 1 plus 1 plus 4 is 6. And 9 times 6 is equivalent to 54. And that is our answer to this question. Therefore, given this equation, x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0, then the numerical value this expression, x plus 1 over x raised to the power of 2, plus x squared plus 1 over x squared raised to the power of 2, all the way down to x raised to the power of 27, plus 1 over x raised to the power of 27, raised to the power of 2, simply equivalent to 54. And as always, we are done. And of course, don't stop asking questions, because if you ask questions, we discover, and if you discover, you learn. And in learning, we grow. So see you on our next video.